After 10 races in front of the backdrop of Sugarloaf Mountain and Christ the Redeemer, the stakes were high for sailors who had the opportunity to grab a Paralympic medal. A wind speed of seven knots saw the final race of the three-person keelboat sonar get underway, and with the gold medal wrapped up by the Australian team, it was time for the battle for silver and bronze. Just before mark three, New Zealand took a huge gamble on the right-hand side to hit the third mark in the lead. The Israeli team were in second place and Great Britain were close by in third. USA, a contender for the silver alongside Canada, then overtook New Zealand, who overlaid the fifth mark. USA were in the lead for the final downwind leg. A costly mistake by the Kiwis, so the USA took the win and the silver medal. Back down the order, Canada pipped France by one second to get seventh. This meant Canada and New Zealand were tied on overall points. The Canadians won bronze on a countback, thanks to two race wins to the New Zealanders' one. No question of the champions, though. Australia could finally celebrate their gold medal as they came ashore. In the final two-person keelboat Scud 18 race, the Australian pair of Daniel Fitzgibbon and Liesl Tesh were merely on a victory lap after securing gold on day nine. Fighting for silver and bronze were Canada, Great Britain and Poland. And at mark four, it was Poland who were in the lead after overtaking early leaders, the US. Great Britain were in third and currently lying in silver medal position. Poland's lead meant they could secure bronze. The Polish pair of Monika Gibes and Pieter Cichotsky were still in the lead at mark five, ahead of USA and Australia. But back down the order, Canada were on the move, overtaking Italy for P5. The Polish pair sailed perfectly to take the win in the final race, and a P2 for Australia topped off a sparkling end to their emphatic gold medal. Drama just behind the front two finishes saw Canada overtake Great Britain in the final metres, finishing in third place to secure the silver medal. So a great race for the Canadian pair of John McRoberts and Jackie Gay. A fourth place finish for Great Britain ahead of the battling Italians was enough to clinch bronze. And Australia could finally celebrate their classy gold. In race 11 of the one-person keelboat, a battle royale for gold got underway between Great Britain's Helena Lucas, France's Damien Seguin and Australia's Matthew Bug. Bug took the lead after the second marker and hit mark three ahead of Sweden and Norway. Bug started race 11 nine points behind Seguin and even though gold was out of sight for the Aussie, he was doing everything he could to finish on a high. At the final mark, Bug led, followed by Sweden and Norway, and that's how the race ended. The win leapfrogged Bug to silver medal position demoting former champion Helena Lucas, who finished way down the order to the bronze. But the day belonged to Damien Seguin, whose fourth place finish was enough to take gold for France, and all the more sweeter victory taking the title in the final race. <laughs>